Oh, hey, it's just me tonight. <laughs> uh, but we're still going to work on some crowd forging anyway, and see if we can get some of that done. Uh, hopefully we get a couple of people on and we can bust this mother out. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about ideas, characters, whatever we want to do, just ideas that, uh, are intended to make us some campfire story elements or plots or whatever. So that's what we're going to be working with. I'm all by my lonesome. Everyone's taking a rest, um, filling out and, uh, okay. Miss her, but we'll do fine tonight. Uh, I've got a whole new file started, so we're gonna we're gonna have a whole new file to play with, a whole another file for me to track when I'm consolidating things. But I figured campfire stories. We haven't really we haven't really talked about those elements outside of providing some campfire story. We haven't really talked about. Uh, them before, so they're not really in notes yet, anyway. Um, well, the Whistler, the Whistler, generally speaking, is just an idea that I have for maybe doing a campfire story about a guy that whistle in the frequency, uh, that I don't know if anybody's gonna guess this or not. You can whistle in the frequency that the arrow blink here. So for those of you that may not know, arrow blinks uh, are trained to follow frequency that they can hear in these crystals. And these crystals are always paired. This crystal has the same frequency as this one. So if you want to send that arrow blink off to your friend out in the middle of the plane and you're living in Longshore or something like that, you're going to let that arrow blink know you're going to go here. Give it its message and it goes for the other one. That's how it knows where to go, wherever somebody else is. So maybe a guy who's got this weird talent that he can whistle, whistle or something like it. Somehow he can make that frequency that matches crystals that arrow blink. Um, something about him attracts them. Uh, yeah. Hi, Dawn. So we've got, uh, our, our zombie, which Dawn is named, I think he's Fred the head. Last year for Halloween, Dawn painted that zombie head. Rockfan says, still wishing her the best. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'll have to go through things, those things. And says, maybe he creates a whistle. Oh, you mean like something he can trade to other people? Something he can like whittle out a whistle or something and say, here, I'll sell this to you. And it attracts arrow blink, something like that. Red waves. Hey. <laughs> uh, and I figured uh, as far as. The mini art for tonight since we don't actually have painting that i'm just i've got uh the famine that dawn painted. hey there we go so yeah rock fan what do you mean he Maybe he creates a whistle. Are you saying like he manufactures a whistle out of tools or bone or something like that or metal or let's flesh that. Start typing what you guys are saying. Uh, so we're also just, just as a reminder, if it went in our discord under Cathar general, 
a couple of message above a couple of messages above the one I just put out for hey I'm going live uh, we've got the audio which was the the first audio we've done from Mark gone fishing which the first campfire story we gave to patreon subscribers Mr. Wacky Stuff. I did know that. I knew that, Mr. Wacky Stuff, because you've told us. <laughs> How are you doing? Rockman says, yeah, to attract the arrow blink, it's a special whistle like the Pied... Like, oh, like the Pied Piper kind of thing. I like that. I like that because it, it potentially... Makes it so he can, uh, maybe he makes money like this, right? Uh, like a black market item that he, that he, uh, makes and sells to people. Hell of a price. It's the sort of thing that people like stalkers, the web guild might want to have their hands so that they can figure out trade secrets or something if they can figure out a um password uh, Mr. Wacky says yeah that's how Dawn normally looks when that's brought up <laughs> Rockfin says or maybe he's a tuning fork that could change the frequency of crystals so he's a great forger Not sure I understand the great forger. Probably just. We were, uh, or I was working on the OBS again. Oof. The cool thing is, is I've already got one method, at least. I've got one method uh, so that you guys can see each other's chat. Uh, see each other's chat on the the screen for both YouTube and that's gonna be and I've got a form but uh, yeah he's a great forger I'm not sure I understand that bit forging copies oh Oh, that kind of forgers. Yeah, I was thinking crowd forge. Forging copies crystal. That is really interesting. It's not even a whistle. You'd still call him like a Pied Piper or something, right? But he can actually something to the crystal. Maybe he's some sort of a stalker. This is what's fun. We're just talking about this, and it's already like, honestly, at first when I came up with the idea about this guy, I thought, oh, he, maybe he's like a hazy kind of guy, just does his work, doesn't really care about much, and then on accident figures out that he, uh, but this is changing it. This is making it more like, hey, maybe this guy is um intentionally going out and uh, getting into other people's information. Or he has a great arrow blink trainer. High in demand. Yes, and there's a little more coming to that. <laughs> How are you guys doing anyway? Middle of the week. Folks are awake even in uh, across the Atlantic, it seems. And the way that this works for any uh, oh, let me. Let me uh, Rockfan says the arrow whistler like the dog whistle. Oh, so he's the dog whistle. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> Arrow Whistler, like the dog whisperer. I like that. Um, so the way that this works for crowd forging, basically, uh, you guys can bounce me around. We can come back to this idea. This was just sort of the starter idea, this Whistler idea. But uh, you guys have any... You guys have any ideas? Say, let's can, can can we talk about a story that would be like this, or I would like a story that involved this, or a plot, or a character type, or anything you want to do. This one's kind of new for me too because it's uh it's focused, but I feel really unfocused about. It. And they're campfire stories. So uh, what I'll do too is. Uh, so so I, I haven't got the the drawing that Dawn did last week of the sandstorm on the plane, which we've we've decided is a, a storm that's just kind of west of Mira's Scar, the southwest portion of the plane. Oh, uh, we're we're gonna get that out there for crowd forgers eventually on Discord. I'll put out the URL and password for you guys to be able to get it and Along with that, I'll drop in something from tonight. I'll write a campfire story on one of these things. Um, campfire stories also, if you guys don't know, are like super short stories. Like They're like meant to be like a campfire story. Uh, so they're pretty short. I'll put something like that together and give you guys access to it. The same as with that soundstorm sketch. Um, all right. Well, let's see what else can we Well, if we want to stick to the uh oh, if we want to stick to the animals, let's say uh we could write a campfire story about creatures now. We have a creature called the well diviner. It's also called a, a well fish, I think is what it was called. I guess I could look it up. Um, so we could do a, a story about a guy who has one just keeps following him. I'm not really sure why until the end of the story. Followed. Followed by Well Diviner. Uh, I don't know. Something allegorical or something, maybe? Uh, Rockman says, maybe a story about roaming creature that most people that see it disappear, the ghost or something. So are we talking about spirit type ghosts? Are we talking about what was it? The love the lion story, the ghost and the something. about a roaming creature that most people will that see it ghost or something so just to clarify what you're saying is that if a person sees this creature roaming then they're gone and they're gonna the person is gonna disappear sort of like a banshee's whale kind of thing just want to clarify that's what you mean no just ghost as in they don't know if it's real or not just a lot of rumors oh i like this so we're getting into the cryptic realm again let's 
a little bit too. Groovy. Yeah, I like that. Like Moo's cousin said they saw this. The uh, blank and we never say him saw him again. Oh, my cousin, not Mew. I thought it was a Pokemon reference. Like my cousin said, they saw this, the blank, whatever it is, and we never saw him again. Yeah, I like that. Oh. Yeah, that's fun. That's that's one of those nice sort of typical uh, campfire story, urban legend story sort of things, right? No, no problem. We will work through it. Not a big deal. I've got plenty of typos all on my lonesome. Okay. Yeah, that could be pretty eerie. That almost sounds like a good, not almost, that sounds like a good Halloween campfire story, maybe, huh? They're not stereotypical, they're classic. Hey, yeah, there you go. Thank you for the correction, that's true. They're classic. Um, Ruby. Yeah, I like that uh, because we can we can throw in some other elements with this. Uh... Or a roaming creature that most people they see it disappear, ghost or something. Um, I think people would again like the banshee thing. They're gonna associate. Myths with it. I three days after that kind of thing. Like when you listen to this videotape, you have seven days to live. <laughs> uh -huh. That's cool. We do have Halloween, too. So it would be fun to play with some more. And lots of these campfire stories should be creepy. That's what people want to do around the campfire anyway, right? Sometimes it's a big heroic story, like the Mark story, that that audio file. Sometimes it's a, a big heroic story. Look what Mark did. Um, but then other times it's going to be, that was creepy. What was that? That sort of thing. Um, or it's a creature in a... Rockman says, or it's a creature in a specific area and think it's cursed or haunted. Oh, like, like the, they see it and they only see it in this area, so they think the area is cursed or haunted, right?
Yeah, the cryptids thing keep coming up lately. And this this pretty much would be it seems difficult for people to prove that yeah, this is an animal and it does this thing. Which obviously in this world, there's going to be creatures that can do stuff like that because an arrow blink can kind of do that. If you're watching, if you just happen to see the arrow blink and it blinks away, that's what it's going to look like to you. But this creature just maybe hasn't been caught yet. Uh, people go, Rafian says, people go to the area to prove they're brave. I like that. Uh, this would be something kids do, right? Uh, or strong or find a lost treasure, etc. That's groovy. But they don't come back, or if they do, they don't talk about it and go crazy. Uh-oh. We're getting into the coma. You're going to lose it if you see this creature. Okay. Yeah, I dig it. Um, yeah, you know the other thing that it's going to add? That it's going to add Cryptid Hunter. Cryptid Researcher. Looking for this. Um, Rockman says, I would be an evil DM. <laughs> well, I think all players want you to be evil up to a point anyway, right? Gotta be, uh, gotta be challenging. Where could we put this guy to? Because we're going to tag him to a certain region. I'm trying to think of where a good place might. Like, even if it's generalized, like the southern tip of the plateau or. The, uh, Great Sand Slip, which stretches the entire western edge of the plain from, well, almost the entire from north to south. Oh. Uh, there's a place we've just created called the River of Ghosts, which is, it, it actually goes by Flumton and then goes south from there, but it also goes, flows north up to Cathar's Tier up by Longshore. The River of Ghosts, we introduced that when we developed River Crawler. Um, There's odd place. Well, I don't know. We probably don't want to put it someplace too close to a town, right? Real thing that's just considered a cryptid right now. I don't know. But there are places like there's the uh, a place called the edge. Well, the, the edge is the entire western and eastern edges of the plain. But specifically local to Longshore, the edge is just a little bit of the plain between Longshore and the Great Sand Slip. People kind of park their land ships just as they're sort of staging to leave civilization and to head out towards the plateau on the plain. Rockman says, maybe that clan want to expand their territory or collect new resources and the party is higher. The party is higher, rather. Hired to investigate these local legends and disband owners. Oh. Like a company or a, or a rich person or something like that. Yeah, they want to clear it up because people are turning up missing, right?
Oops. Oh, I'm getting to that point where I'm going to a bunch of fake white space so that I scroll up enough for you guys to see. <laughs> yeah, right. So Rockhand says maybe the clan want to expand their territory. Uh, I'm, you're talking about Kern clan, right? Um, or generic a uh, clan or a kingdom or a city state or something like that. Want to expand their territory or collect new resources and the party is hired to investigate these local legends and disprove them so the landowners will sell. Hmm. All kinds of messy stuff. Well, the neat thing about that is not only can we write campfire story about that. You mentioned gaming, right? So this could end up being a short adventure or something like that for the tabletop game. Same Tyler, same. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe and maybe in the campfire story, only one of them make cuts back and we mix in that they go crazy, but they get a little bit of the story out, and this is how we know the story. That is fun. Um well, I know one uh da, 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 we don't, we haven't named the you know what I need to open my couple of reasons. One, I want to see if I'm spelling well diviners correctly. <laughs> uh, and two, because I'm thinking of a creature that I'm not sure if we have a name for it or if it was just like our Bigfoot creature. Because there's a few. Oh, wrong file. Where are you at? Kind of wondering if uh, it's in Dawn's written and not in here. Oh, we do have it. Two different words. Well diviners and well fish. Called it. Good. So oh, I did that part. Let's. Not. I don't even have the Bigfoot creed. I think I talked about it. I notes on the Bigfoot. In any case, I definitely want to do something with the. That guy. Um, about a family that's headed out, so they've had this story stopped by a cop. Heading out to so something like that, something that sort of introduces him in an interesting way. I need to couple with a name for him and stuff. Find a good description. Uh, Rockman says, 
Or maybe these legends are all caused by the locals to keep the clan out of their safe. No, that's an interest. Especially with something that, oh, well, it disappears as soon as you see it, you know. that That's the kind of thing when you tell a person, you put that seed in there and they, they will think they saw something go away. <laughs> that could be... A lot of fun, actually. I dig it. Yeah, and maybe, I mean, it, it's a, it's a little bit deep, maybe guess but if you can imagine that uh we we would write the campfire story in the way that they're telling people to try and scare people away maybe you wouldn't find out that it's just the townsfolk trying to keep somebody else at bay or away or whatever the locals said you wouldn't even know it until you played it in the game and find out as adventurers maybe 